spiritual man all locked together at 1-1 in the second match of the day. Thank you, the first frame, Ian Martin to break. So our referee is Tatiana Wollaston. And it's Ian Martin who gets to break off. Hasn't officially got a tour card, Dave, but he was ninth on the Q School Order of Merit as he breaks off and goes the, the incorrect side of the blue, which wasn't a good sign. But ninth on the Q School Order of Merit, he should get into a fair amount of tournaments. Yeah, we'll see as the season goes on, but uh, it's a bit of an into-the-lines den in this group, isn't it? You know, he's up against three ranking event winners, Jimmy Robertson, Tep Chaya and Marco Fu. So it's a very, very tough group to come into, and already Tep Chaya has got going in frame one here. Six. Looking like a three-way fight for this group, but obviously this match is vital for Tep Chaya because Jimmy Robertson Seven. won 3-0 against Ian Martin, so... <coughs> I'm sure Anu is looking to match that. He plays the last match, of course, against Robertson tonight. Marco Fu still in the mix, of course, after the draw. Yeah, the Lions, Den, I think that's a good way of putting it. It's one of the tougher groups we've had. And in fact, I think overall today, even on table two, that group is uncompromising also. Overall, I think perhaps the, the best day for the quality of all of the players combined. Twenty-two. Hard to believe that Tepchara knew nearly dropped off the tour last season. Limited down the rankings, points coming off. Of course, uh, was one of the issues from Tia system, but anyway, stayed on and. Uh, you expect him to to rise up the list again. Of course, he qualified for the Crucible. Gave uh, John Higgins 30. a bit of a match in round one. 31. We've just had Wimbledon. And I suppose if you want to draw a tennis analogy with Teb Chaya, he's like one of those players capable of winning inspirational rallies and doing wonderful things and then putting a 38 a simple forehand into the net 39. well he didn't hang around in that Marco Fu match his average shot time is 15 and a half seconds so that's seriously quick not that that guarantees you anything but that's how he plays of course he won that shootout there was no sign of any concern about the shot clock well, be concerned about that. He didn't intend to catch that red. So that's a mistake. 46. Very good recovery, though. 47. Just took a moment there, focused on the pot and back in business. Already, he's up to 54. 54. Now the plant. Yeah, he's taking a look at that for future reference. Seems on to me. Not his best, far from it. Okay, he's on the black, but look where the cue ball is. 55. Yeah, so it was a, a swift effort that, but he has come to an end at 55.
Still seven reds on. I mean, he could run for cover, of course, but uh, the other option is try and pop the blue, just open up the reds quite nicely. It was a tough one. It was yeah, a positive nice shot one. choice and could have led to good things, but the blue didn't threaten the pocket in the end, so Tepchaya with another chance, leading by 54. But that is a massive let off. I think Ian Martin, just looking at him in his seat, thought fr the frame was over there. In fact, he's got a good chance here. And this frame already is a microcosm of Tebchaya Unnu. The slack positional shot onto the black, and then a very surprising miss. Oh. But if Martin continues to play like this, this match will be over in double quick time. Yeah, he's confused about that. Of course, he had that chance in the first frame against Jimmy Robertson, who also actually made a 55 break against him and was clearing up nicely, missed the green. And that was the start of his woes in that match, and uh, things have not improved here. He's let Tep Charano off the hook in a big way, actually. He needs another red, and it should be 1-0 to him. Seven. Eight. That was frame ball. This is insurance. So reminiscent of the most renowned speedster from the 80s and 90s, Tony Drago. When he's flowing, he makes the game look crazily easy. 27. But at any moment, 20. he could make a mistake. 34. There's 34. that mistake I was telling you about. Although, in this instance, it was purely academic. Breaks of 55 and 34, mixed in with a few mistakes. And Tepchai Anu quickly leads Ian Martin 1 0. There's a smoothness about the game of Teb Chai Anu. When he's in top gear, he's a joy to behold. The second frame, Teb Chai Anu to break. And from the way the first frame went in this match, I just get the feeling that 
Ian Martin is really struggling, and if he continues to do so, they'll be shaking hands sharpish. Now that's what? more like it. That was a quality shot. Yes, I mean there's no <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason to it really, is there? Because he missed that dolly red, didn't he, to the left corner earlier. But that red, far more difficult he strokes in, and that's a sign of what a good player he is. I guess one of the issues for someone like Ian Martin is of course he you know, he has a full time job. Six. Runs his own business, so that doesn't leave a lot of time to practice. He's not a, you know, a twenty-something. Maybe has the opportunity to do that. So opportunities like this to play in these sort of tournaments can only be a positive. Seven. That's gone wrong, but the very fact he's here today, playing these top players, can only be good experience for him. Of course, he had that good run in the shootout in 2021. Got to the last 16 there. I know he really loved that. Blue ball. He's back here at the Morningside Arena on Saturday, actually. Takes on Chang Bing Yu in the European Masters qualifiers. Ian Martin, seven. Touching ball. Actually, in those European Masters qualifiers, Dave, Epchara Nu has been given a really tough early assignment against a former world champion, Graham Dot. Yeah, there's some tough matches coming up in that qualifying section. Ooh, a little flick. It was handy. Thank you. Just allowing Tatiana Wollaston, the referee, to just check the line in case that cue ball has to be put back. the red too thick so Tep Chaya was a little fortunate to get that flick but Ian Martin could still see the edge of the red he just caught too much of it and that's why given Tep Chaya knew this chance one sort of doing that thing where he sort of can't bear to watch from his seat Tep Char, of course, he was he had got in the 16. He was played in the Masters. He got up to number 15, but it was a sort of perfect storm. Firstly, Seven. he wasn't winning matches. That's the main thing. But then he had big points coming off. He'd been in a big final in China, so on the two-year system that came off. He'd already lost the shootout points as well and started cascading down the ranking list. Eight. Well, it's great that he stayed on. I mean, you wouldn't want to lose him from the tour, but it just shows it can happen to anyone if you get on a bad run. Yes, and the way the circuit is, if you do well at the World Championship, it can paper over some cracks. 14. 15. Well, tight snooker's on the up, isn't it? Because, of course, there's uh, Tep Chai, there's Nopon Senkam, who got to the second round at the Crucible. Deshawat Pumjang's got his tour card back. We've not yet to see him. And, of course, uh, the women's world champion, I think Nutsharat, who we've already seen in this event, is also on tour. And uh, the six Reds World Championship will be back in Bangkok in September. 23. Yes, you're looking at a, a former winner. Captured the title in 2015. 
and was runner-up to Mark Williams in 2017. Yes, and James Watson Art, the, the man who kind of started 29. it all. He recently won gold medal at the Southeast Asian Games for snooker, so he's still playing. Not on the That's main tour anymore, but still playing, still representing Thailand. I've never commentated on six That's reds, Dave. Must be quite a, a challenge because you've got a lot of very tight frames. The highest break isn't 147, of course, it's 75. Well, it can be very quick, actually, it can 45. be over quickly because obviously, once those reds 46. are broken in the first shot, they can all be on, they can all be possible. But it can also get very nervy, as you say. It's, uh, it's never sort of caught on in a big way. Obviously, we have the, the World Championship in Thailand, but, you know, when it came along initially, about a decade ago, there was sort of talk 53. about would threaten the traditional game. Never happened. But equally, there's nothing wrong with having 54. one event a year. It is quite popular, I think, in Asia. Well, there's five reds on here, and uh, Tepchara knew... 60. Only needs one of them with a big colour, and he's 2-0 up. 61. Yeah, Sixty-nine. Tabchanu, sixty-nine. Not the smoothest delivery of the queue. The yellow doesn't find the pocket, and even though Anu is. 62 ahead with only 51 on the table. Martin comes back now. The reason for this, he's just about in that free ball zone. One snooker, One. which yields a free ball. Could be enough. And after that kiss off the green, it was imperative. He dropped nicely on a high value killer and he's done so. Yes, I mean, realistically, he's unlikely to win Eight. the frame, but I think he's also looking for table time. with that one was the terrific pot so you're going to leave the last red on the table Martin, 15. He's played that nicely, so he's 47 behind, 35 on. Now, if Anu does miss the red here and leaves a free ball, with that free ball plus black, then red, black in all the colours, Martin could force a respotted black. Well, this shouldn't be a free ball, should it? Even if he misses it. But I tell you Ian what, Martin, five, free ball. <laughs> uh, it's incredible, really. I mean, it, there's so much space there not to leave the free ball. I'm saying that for purposes of information, Dave, without any 
thought he would. For someone as experienced as him, for someone as talented as him, well, that's just, that's just unforgivable. Problem is, as you say, he, he would need the black off. So, for example, the yellow, he's not got much of an angle to get on the black. Oh, he's looking at the blue. But it's raised the stakes suddenly, hasn't it? And the, I mean, the frame looked over, but that's a, it could be a big error. Well, you can't roll in behind a free ball, but what if he were to pop the yellow and then get a, a really good snooker off his next colour, which he'd be entitled to do, nestling behind that, where the blue is masking the red, that would make an escape potentially extremely difficult. What are you playing? Free ball or...? Sorry, I'm playing blue free ball. Blue, yeah. OK. Blue ball. Yeah, the referee's asking for clarification, so he's taking the blue as a red. Playing down for the black. Okay. That might have to be pink now. But even so, this frame feels a, a bit closer. One. Pink, it's one snooker needed. If he takes the black, obviously you've got to get it, then he can still tie the frame. Ian Martin, one frame conceded. A new entitled to. Breather, a sigh of relief there. Ian Martin looks at Teb Chaya as he walks back to his chair and concedes. And so, a new leads 2-0. Ian Martin, 2-0 down, and Teb Chai Anu, well, so far, typical from him, really. He's produced a, a curious tech of a performance, breaks of 55, 34, 69, some really good stuff. And some strange shots. Yeah, just to correct something I said at the end there, actually, because, of course, Teb Chai fouled the blue, so... Could actually, with the black there, Ian Martin, he could have won the frame. The pink, which was easier, he could have tied the frame. Shows the black, missed it. But on another day, Tepchara Nu could have been punished there. lovely fluke and that's what you see when someone hasn't played an awful lot in these conditions is striking the ball a little too hard meanwhile what about these shoes by the way that uh, Tep Chai has oh, gone on yeah. oh, 
He was like something from Game of Thrones. Get a chance to uh, maybe see them detail shortly. One. Yeah, not crocodile shoes. Are they more stegosaurus? Well, they're certainly distinctive. It's interesting, people talk about the dress code a lot, but actually, well, he's not on the red, that's the first thing to say. I was going to say, Eight. players, even within restrictions for various tournaments, have an opportunity to be a bit more distinctive in their choices, working within the rules. So you hear them complain about the dress code sometimes, but they, ca they have a choice to be a bit more individualistic. Chan, Still eight. tried to pot that. He couldn't quite accept he wasn't on it properly. So he set up an immediate scoring visit here for Ian Martin. Well, that was a classic example of someone who was hoping the red could go. When really he knew it wouldn't. One. Pushing out the boat, not advisable. Can't tell you, by the way, Mitchell Mann and Matthew Stevens, they've just drawn 2-2. Two -two. Over on table two. Well, the first two matches yeah, in Martin group 21 won. have resulted in draws. Can't imagine this one's going to. The way Martin continues to err. Yeah, he's a little embarrassed maybe that he's not producing the form he obviously can produce. One. But uh, as I was saying in the first match, you know, these are very different conditions to what he's used to. And also there's a lot of <laughs> tension on him going out live around the world. It looks like Tepchai will probably get enough chances Eight. to win this match. Having said that, he's going to be opening reds up here. Playing this one. Yeah, and so kind of had to get that. You know, it's not guaranteed to, to win 3 0. And, and of course, if it ends 3 1, for example, then that lost frame could really be costly. Just a little bit slapdash at times from Tepchar and New today. Ian Martin, eight. He's a fine player, Ian Martin. If you saw him down at his local club, he would be unrecognisable to this. Of course, on the TV table against a world class opponent. One. And uh, as Dave said, heavy scrutiny. It's all very different. Yeah, and I think once you, you start making sort of basic errors, you know, you're maybe not in the right mindset. You can see in the background there, he's uh, not a happy chappy. Five. Yeah, two draws on the other table. So, you know, if that can pattern continues, then the high breaks uh, may well come into it. Mitchell Mann made an 80 against Matthew Stevens. So, obviously, that's... Uh, 12. Put him in the driving seat over Matthew. And uh, Stephen Maguire has made an 87. So, he's top at the moment. Very early days still, but uh, worth 
following that. Let it just flick off the reds rather than have that foolish contact. So it arrested the movement of the cue ball. And he's out of position having to play safe. Now, that was a radical improvement. Very good shot. And where the balls are, if Martin can get in, there's no reason why he can't make a, a sizable break, make himself feel better. It's a great red, isn't it? And uh, you, like you say, definite scoring opportunity. So Tepchara knew maybe he's not been as clinical as he could be. And like I say, if he loses this frame, even if he wins the match ultimately, it could be very costly on the countback. Because of course he's already drawn a match. Jimmy Robertson beat Ian Martin 3-0. Eight. Nine. Ian Martin, nine. No excuse. That was just elementary. I think that's the worst thing today, isn't it? He's landed in a very tough group, but he's had a lot of chances. If he was just outplayed. What? by these guys, then that's, that's something you can accept. But it's, what will annoy him is he's had the chances, he's had the openings and not been making very much from them. So very frustrating for him. But a delight for Tep Chaya. Maybe this is the, the visit he needs now to get this one. There again, he sort of finished nowhere there. Just betwixt and between. Seven. So it's a bit of an ordeal for him. In a match, he may still win 3-0. Seven. Now, although the cue ball went back into Bork and the blue also was nudged down the table, there is a path through to the red, as you can see. Just have made his mind up to go for this. Oh, well done. That was a big shot, wasn't it? Probably end the match had he missed that. But I think by now he's just decided, as I say, to, to go for it. Four. If the blue will go, that will be his blue colour ball. of choice, yes. He can swing the cue ball in and out of bulk here.
Ian Martin, 10. It was going to be one of the biggest days of his snooker life, and as so often is the case, it's turned into a word that Dave used, an ordeal. One. And still, Tepchara knew has difficulties with the positional aspect of the game. that there, Dave, I think the end could be nigh. Six. Well, it should be. I mean, it's not been the smoothest passage, but as I say, he's just had enough chances. But he's got a Seven. big, big match coming up later on, of course, against Jimmy Robertson. Now, it, a lot can happen before then. Robertson's got to play Marco Fu. Fu's got to play Ian Martin. It's a three-way fight in this group, a top spot, and every frame will count. So, really important, he puts this away now. And wins 3 0. And the, <laughs> the pink's not set. in. He just he's sort of crawling towards the line, but he's not over it yet. So often we see one visit snooker. This is one mistake after the next snooker. was the only awkward ball on the table. Pay dividends. This could be really big in the overall group standings if he can take this frame. Apart from anything else, <laughs> you know, Tepchar hasn't won the match yet. He could end up two each. That would be a disastrous result for him, actually. Twenty-one. Slightly overrun here. Still needs pink and black. He's a tall guy, though, isn't he? Even so, he does need the rest. Well, what about this? 27. I mean, how many chances did O'Neill have Phil to win this match 3 0? I think it's, a, as I said before, a microcosm of his career. Tepchaya Anu lost that frame because he was so wasteful. Wasteful of opportunities. Too slack. Ian Martin missed so many balls. How did he win the frame? And, of course, he could still salvage a draw. Frame four coming up next.
Tepchior Anu should have won this match 3-0. The handshake should have already occurred. But despite missing a lot of balls, Ian Martin was given chance after chance and eventually he cleared last red to black to give himself the opportunity to maybe gain a two-all draw here. What a travesty that would be, considering how the play had gone for two and three-quarter frames. Well, Tip Charn has put himself under it by not clinically closing out the match. I mean, if you look at the previous frame, you know, he could have lost that after the, the free ball. Absolute priority for him now is to win. Another draw is not going to be any good to him. But 3-1, remember Jimmy Robertson won 3-0 against Ian Martin. He's still on the back foot, but he needs to win. One. And he would still have a chance, of course, of winning this group. He's one of those players, you can see why he's so popular, actually, because it's a bit of a roller coaster, isn't it, following him? Not dull, certainly. Eight. Nine. And Dave, as you will know, he makes a habit of putting together maximums. For a while, he made a habit of missing the last black, but uh, thankfully, he's made some since then. 16. Yeah, UK final missed the last black, and then later that season, the world qualifiers. Matthew Stevens looking good 17. next door frame one against C. Jarvi. Just broken down there on 81, but has won the first frame. Remember, the first two matches have both been drawn there. Twenty-four. Now that wasn't a gimme, but it's the kind of pot you expect him to knock in. Of course, he was chasing the black. That was the issue. Just about creeps in, and now ideal on the black. Tell really you what, Jimmy Robertson will be watching this with interest because if it is a two all draw, when the next session begins at five o'clock, Robertson's first into action against Marco Fu. And a win for Robertson Left. in that match would see him top the group with a, a match to spare. Yeah, and that would be extraordinary, actually, wouldn't it? When you when you consider at the start of the day, I think everyone agreed, you know, there were three strong candidates to win the group. Marco Fu by no means out of this yet himself. Meanwhile, he's left this awkward now. Cue ball close to the side cushion. But uh, rolled it in nicely. It was a good little clearance he made in the last frame because all sorts of things had gone wrong before then, and that will just make him feel better nice. now he's won a frame. And if you could take a point from the match, then better. Nine. 
Ian Martin, 19. Those final uh, stages, or the second stage, filling up nicely. Tomorrow, actually, is uh, the midpoint of the Championship League, Phil. Day 11 of 21. One. Yeah, it's been really intriguing so far, actually. We've had upsets, some big names going out, some excellent snooker played. A lot of the players who we've spoken to have said they feel this is an ideal first event of the season. Six. Get three matches. It's one thing. So, you know, you don't just play and if you get beat, you go home. You've got to have action all day. And they're sort of easing their way back into the season. Got qualifiers Seven. coming up at the weekend. And then from sort of September time, the tournaments come more regularly. Now, that really was world-class. Not just potting the red, which was a tough assignment in itself, but at that pace, look at the position on the black. Chanu, 19. He's absolutely determined to get the match one now. So he's prepared to wait for another chance. Hang on. Ooh. Ian uh, Nobin Sengham, they didn't fare so well in the pool, did they, the World Cup? <laughs> well, they were appalling. Nobin came off the table afterwards, big smile on his face as he normally has, just shaking his head and saying, it's like an ice rink. It was in the sense that they slipped up quite a few times. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, the way Paul's taken off, a few of the snooker players are starting to look at it as something they maybe should take more seriously. I think a lot of them have watched it in the past and thought, oh, that looks easy. But, of course, the specific skill set you need, to, certainly tactics, and obviously the break is a big shot in pool, which the snooker players are still learning. Now, what a, a pot that was. Looks like being for just a single point. Needs delicacy here if he's going to get in behind the green. That will do. Miss Tapchan, no four. Appreciably short of the reds, which is something he couldn't afford to do because he's left the lone open red. One. That was beautifully Six. timed. Seven. Yeah, this looks like the end now. He needs another red after the black. It's not been plain sailing. He had a lot of chances to win 3-0 and losing one frame here. 
14. Has put a serious dent in his chances of winning the group, but he's by no means out of it yet. He's got, of course, the match with Jimmy Robertson later. And by 15. that point, he will know exactly how this group stands. But it looks like he's going to have to win that match pretty clearly. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Yes. After the first session, these two, well, they've gone in opposite directions. When new will top the table. Thirty. Ian Martin will sit at the foot of it. Thirty-one. Well, do stay with us because after this match we'll be over to table two to watch Matthew Stevens and see Jahui. So the action continues. 39. 42. So breaks of 55, 69. And 42 unfinished. Make that 46. 46. So on the face of it, not bad, but he really does need to tighten up. Stand a chance against Robertson. Foul. Ian Martin, six. Tepchano, 51. Frame After his 3-0 defeat by...